Good evening. A mother from Torquay has spoken of the trauma and shame she felt after being forced to visit a food bank despite having a full-time job. Health worker Alicia Matthews says she felt embarrassed and humiliated, but rising household bills and a cut in tax credits left her with no other option. With a growing number of working people here in the West Country relying on donations to feed their families, one local council has decided to take action by setting up a new department dedicated to food justice. Sam Blackledge has the story. I've been trying to uh, keep my head above water and just still be living a normal life but I've been really struggling behind closed doors. I don't want everyone knowing that I'm failing, but I'm doing this video because I feel like someone's got to, <laughs> and I'm desperate. <laughs> Alicia posted this video online at the end of a difficult day. She's a single mum, working full time to provide for her nine-year-old son. But lately the family budget has been under strain, and last week she decided for the first time that she would need to visit a food bank. I was already crying, like nervous and just feeling defeated, like I didn't want to have to be here. There was two people there, but there was a huge window where everyone could see you and that shouldn't matter. I mean, you're desperate, you, don't, you shouldn't care, but you can't help but think it's on a busy street. I felt humiliated and I know I shouldn't use that word because it was um, a charity and it's somewhere that I needed, but I can't help the feeling that I had and the panic of, am I going to know any of these volunteers? Is, like, what are they thinking of me? Uh, everyone's looking at me. It was just really hard. Alicia's decision to speak out about living in poverty has not been an easy one. It was a shock to me that I'd got to that point, and I did feel like there must be somewhere else. I mustn't have to go here. Um, but it, it was my only option at that point. It really was. You don't talk about it because why would you? It doesn't necessarily come up in conversation and you want to come across to your peers as strong and put together. We don't necessarily want to make ourselves vulnerable, but I want to build a future for my son. I don't want for him to go through the same things that I'm going through. I want uh, this time next year I, I could be in a much better position. There are, there, there are people that have been to the bottom and they've got back up. The number of people using food banks like this one in Plymouth has been rising steadily for the last few years. But just recently, they're seeing a surge in working families relying on this much needed service just to put food on the table. If people are working but not earning in vast amounts of money, they're still going to be part of the tax credit system or the benefit system in some way. And because of the way in which uh, benefits have been frozen um, in, in the last few years, people therefore are still harder up than they were. Plymouth City Council wants to set up a new food justice department to address the problem. Ultimately we don't want people to use food banks. The food bank would rather not be there. We don't want people relying on soup runs or our own free veg box scheme. Um, what we want is people being able to afford to eat healthily in the city. We don't want people in the city poor. It, it actually says in the Plymouth plan that we want to eradicate child poverty. For Alicia, something unexpectedly positive has come from sharing her story. I've had such lovely, lovely responses. I've had lovely messages. It's almost given me a little spring in my step, in fact. It's, it's made me feel a little bit more confident in the person who I am. I do feel good about it, and I just want to keep that positivity. Well, that was Sam Blackledge with that report.